Hello, welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, September the 21st, entitled, Trust. Now, Sunday morning, we looked at the life of Abram, or Abraham, as he became known, and that he was asked by God to trust, and God made him this promise. If you will leave your home, your land, your family, everything that creates security for you right here, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. And I will bless you. I will watch over you. I will protect you. And I will allow my word and my work to be birthed through your family. And it says, Abraham believed God, trusted God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now, we know that Abraham struggled with the same uh, struggles that we struggle with. There were places where he doubted, where uh, he was frustrated, where he was overwhelmed. But in all of that, even though he was not capable of being truly 100% faithful, God fulfilled every promise that he made to him. Scripture says he wants to lead us. He wants to empower us. But the passage in Proverbs 3, 5-7 through 7, is very powerful. In the fact that it says this, Trust the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Now, this is what God is asking. Same thing He said to Abram. Trust me. I am capable of doing what I have promised you I will do. Trust me in all things. Don't lean on your human wisdom, on the things that seem to make sense in the human sphere, but put my principles together. Some of those principles like love your enemy instead of hate them. Treat others with respect even though they have not earned respect. Forgive even as you want to be forgiven. These principles are alien to our human way of thinking. But he says, if you will do this, then I will honor you, and I will make your path straight. I will lead you. You have to trust me in this, though. And most of us are going to be like Abraham. In certain places, we go, yes, I will follow you. And in other places, we panic. We saw Sunday morning how trying to manipulate and to negotiate and trying to help God only created chaos. This passage is where the true life and power come, to trust the Lord, to not lean on our human rationale and way of doing things, but to follow His pattern, and He will make a way, make our path straight. So let's pray. Father, Lord, trusting you is difficult. Because many of the things that you've asked us to do do not line up with our human wisdom or understanding. It doesn't sync with what we want most of the time. Because our heart tends to lean after the natural where you want to do the supernatural. Trusting you is a challenge, but Father, I have found that trusting you is the way to true incredible life where you lead, where you make that path straight rather than me trying to dig it out myself. God, I want to trust because I know you are faithful. Empower me. Open my eyes. Point out where my fear, where my uh, rebellion hinders me and lead me in your path everlasting. In Jesus' name, amen. Trust. It's not easy, but it's powerful. Let it guide your life, and I'll see you tomorrow.